Hi friends, good morning and welcome to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends, today in this video we can see the questions from Anatomy and Physiology. And we'll see the question one by one. The first question, which epithelium is found in the conjunctiva of eye? And the options are, option A, ciliated columnar epithelium, option B, non-keratinized stratified epithelium, option C, transitional epithelium, and option D, simple squamous epithelium. Here, the question is, which epithelium is present in the conjunctiva of eye? And here, the correct answer is, option B, non-keratinized stratified epithelium. So the conjunctiva of the eye is lined by stratified epithelium and non-keratinized. And the first option, ciliated columnar epithelium is there. It is lined by uterus and fallopian tube is lined by ciliated columnar epithelium and eustachian tube, middle ear, nasal cavity, nasopharynx, pharynx all lined by ciliated columnar epithelium. And transitional epithelium is there that is renal pel renal pelvis, ureter and urinary bladder or land by transitional epithelium. Simple uh, squamous epithelium. The simple squamous epithelium is mainly present in, in alveoli, nephrons and collecting diet. Blood vessels are mainly land by simple squamous epithelium. This is an important question. Blood vessels are land by simple squamous Epithelium. Here our question is conjunctiva is lined by non-keratinized stratified epithelium. Option B is the correct answer. Second question. Location of cardiovascular center is. And the options are option A medulla oblongata, option B hypothalamus, option C pons, option D none of this. Here our question is. Cardiovascular center is located in that is the question and correct answer is option A medulla oblongata. So the cardiovascular center is located in the medulla oblongata and the location of respiratory center is also medulla oblongata and location of temperature regulatory center is hypothalamus this all important points cardiovascular center and respiratory center is medulla oblongata and temperature regulatory center is hypothalamus here our question is location of cardiovascular center option a medulla oblongata third question location of appetite center is Options are option A medulla oblongata, option B hypothalamus, option C pons, option D none of this. Your question is appetite center is located in and the correct answer is option B hypothalamus is the correct answer. So appetite center is located in the hypothalamus and the location of thirst center is also hypothalamus thirst center and appetite center both are hypothalamus and location of swallowing and omitting center is medulla oblongata location of swallowing and omitting center is medulla oblongata and the location of pneumotaxic center that is pons and location of apneustic center also pons and location of reflex center for coughing is medulla oblongata. These are all some important points. And here our question answer is option B, hypothalamus. Fourth question, pressure of CSF during lying position. And the options are option A, 30 centimeter water, option B, 10 centimeter water, option C, 45 centimeter water and option D, 20 centimeter water. Question is pressure of CSF during lying position. So in lying position, the pressure of CSF is 10 cm of water is the correct answer. We will see pressure of CSF during lying position is 10 cm of water and pressure of CSF during sitting position it is 30 cm of water. Okay, these two are important point and in our question pressure of CSF during lying position. So the option B 10 cm of water is the correct answer. Fifth question blood clotting factor number 12 is and the options are option A Stewart factor, option B Hedgeman factor, option C stable factor, option D label factor. Here question is blood clotting factor 
12 is option B Hedgeman factor. Okay, that is the correct answer. There are 13 blood clotting factors in our human body. Okay, they are, we will see the one um, blood clotting factor one by one that is fibrinogen first factor second factor prothrombin third factor tissue factor or thromboplastin fourth factor is calcium fifth factor is label factor and important point there is no blood clotting factor six okay and seventh factor is stable factor eighth factor is antihemophilic factor a and ninth factor is christmas factor or antihemophilic factor b and tenth factor is stuart factor stuart power factor and eleventh factor is plasma thromboplastin antecedent or antihemophilic factor c and twelfth factor is Hashman factor and 13th factor is fibrin stabilizing factor. Okay, here our question is factor number 12 that is Hashman factor. Sixth question, own Willebrand disease is due to options are option A low level of factor 6, option B low level of factor 7, option C low level of factor 8 and option D low level of factor 9. Here question is own Willy Brand disease is due to the low level of factor 8. It occurs due to low level of factor 8. Factor 8 is known as anti-hemophilic factor A. Okay that is factor 8. Here our question is own Willy Brand disease is due to low level of factor 8. Option C is the correct answer. Seventh question, Kufer cells in the liver is an example of options are option A, phagocytic macrophage, option B, lymphocytic cells, option C, xenophils, option D, neutrophils. Here, question is, Kufer cells in the liver is an example of option A, phagocytic macrophage is the correct answer. Okay, and this Phagocytic barrier is an important part of the immune system. These phagocytes include macrophage, monocytes and neutrophils. Here, Kufer cells are specialized macrophage present in the liver. They are helping as a barrier and play an important role in, the, in our immune system. Okay, so option A, phagocytic macrophage is the correct answer. Eighth question, spleen and adrenal glands are found in. Options are option A, thoracic cavity, option B, abdominal cavity, option C, pelvic cavity and option D, none of this. Here, spleen and adrenal glands are found in. Option B, abdominal cavity is the correct answer. So, spleen and adrenal glands are found in the abdominal cavity. We will see the what are the parts which is present in the abdominal cavity. That is stomach liver, pancreas, gallbladder, small intestine, spleen, kidney, adrenal glands, most part of the large intestine and upper part of the uterus. These all are present in the abdominal cavity. So here in our question this spleen, adrenal glands present in abdominal cavity. Option B is the correct answer. In the question partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the alveolar air is options are option a 40 mm of hg option b 80 mm of hg and option c 60 mm of hg option d 90 mm of hg partial pressure of carbon dioxide in alveolar air is 40 mm of hg option a is the correct answer here partial pressure of Carbon dioxide in alveolar air is 40 mm of Hg and the partial pressure of nitrogen in alveolar air is 573 mm of Hg. Both are important points. Okay, here our question is answer is 40 mm of Hg. Option A is the correct answer. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide in alveolar air. 10th question, conversion of glucose to glycogen is called. Options are option A, gluconeogenesis. Option B, glycogenolysis. 
ऑप्शन सी ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दिस क्या क्वेश्चन इज कन्वर्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोज टू ग्लूकोज टू ग्लाइकोजेन इज कॉल्ड ऑप्शन सी ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस ओके यू विल सी दी रिमेनिंग ऑप्शन फर्स्ट वन कन्वर्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोज टू ग्लाइकोजेन इज कॉल्ड ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस दैट इज द क्वेश्चन एंड सेकेंड वन कन्वर्शन ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन टू ग्लूकोज ग्लाइकोजन टू ग्लूकोज इज कॉल्ड ग्लाइकोजेन ग्लाइकोजिनोलाइसिस एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू शुगर फ्रॉम प्रोटीन और फैट इज कॉल्ड ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस इट्स ऑल इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट ओके क्या आ क्वेश्चन इज ग्लूकोज टू ग्लाइकोजेन दैट इज कॉल्ड ग्लाइकोजेनेसिस ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर